Who is Ever Taylor? Oh man, uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur, uh, mostly within the tech space. Um, I've served as uh, a marketing executive for several companies, um, two of which were bought and acquired successfully. Um, and you know, I've used my platform as an entrepreneur and the success that came from there, especially within the tech space, to be able to do things for land. Uh, philanthropy within the community. Um, I have my own college scholarship program. I have my own mentoring program. Um, uh, Feed the homeless in Skid Row, uh, right here in downtown LA. Um, man, it's just so many different things that I'm trying to, you know, continuously do. And then I think the most important part of that is, um, you know, we live in this capitalistic society where people are scared to kind of speak up, you know, against the things that. Are, is wrong in the world right. and I use my platform to speak up on diversity speak up on you know some of the evils that I see in the world and I'm not really you know stressed out about the fact that you know uh, people might not rock with my company just because of my personal feelings because I'm gonna speak up on things that I believe in and, right. and I think that's really important too. Not for sure. So, so let's take it back a little bit. How did you get your initial experience like in the tech industry you know um, a lot of people growing up there, we might be into technology, we don't know how to get that start. How did you right. acquire that experience? A lot of it was self-taught, man. Okay. Um, so uh, my craft is really marketing okay. at the end of the day. And what a lot of people don't realize is that they get kind of imposter syndrome when it comes to getting into the world of tech because they're like, man, I can't code, I can't do this, I'm not technical. You don't have to be necessarily technical to be in the world of tech, you know? Um, there are so many different things from HR to marketing to business development, operations um, that are crucial to businesses that, you know, you don't necessarily need to know how to code. And so for me, you know, my mom, she got me off the street. Okay. Uh, you know, when I was 14 years old, I was doing things I didn't have no business doing, and uh, she made me get my first marketing job. And it wasn't within a tech company, but I started to build those skills that I could later apply to my own companies and other tech companies, which was super important. Um, and then when I started my first company in 19, um, I realized a lot of the things that I was learning in college, because I dropped out after my first year for the first time anyways um, I, I realized a lot of things that I was learning in business classes and things like that wasn't applicable to the real world and you know how things were kind of going right now and so I was like man um, you know I need to do marketing that really gets you know a return on investment or ROI and right. um, be able to understand you know different things like conversion rate optimization and and search engine optimization and these technical types of marketing where you know traditional marketing is very like brand brand focused and things like that but that doesn't really push the needle for tech companies you know and so you know I took it upon myself to just use Google use the internet and, and learn those skill sets for myself okay. so everything you've learned marketing wise and self taught um, hands on and hands on experience yeah I think the the biggest thing is is, is life experiences man you know, uh, whether it's like growing up in the hood or, you know, being homeless or, uh, you know, going to a pr predominantly white institution like Virginia Tech, you know, all these different experiences, you know, packing up and, and leaving for California in, in one week, for, you know, to chase an opportunity and a dream. Like these experiences that you're getting, you travel the world, everything is like a culmination of emotional intelligence and understanding people, right? And, you know, I tell people all the time, man, travel, yeah. you know, get to know people, you know, get outside of your box, you know, you know, listen to different types of music, go to different types of movies. Um, if you continue, continuously do the same things, you're going to get the same, you know, outcome, you know. And so, you know, I push people to always consistently be learning. And marketing is really the understanding of people at the end of the day.